fun watch Hold on Welcome back to Codes Empire, my friends. So, today we've got Junkyard up here in the studio. And we've got some accessories we're going to be adding on. Well, not really accessories, some upgrades. And a lot of the parts that we have are GPM racing parts, okay, for the SEX 10. Um, so I went ahead and because I've got several different sets of aluminum parts, um, I actually have a, another set of these completely all in green. And so I asked the family, I said, what do you guys, what do you think would look the best on junkyard? And of course, I showed them the green set and talked about the green set, and then I showed them kind of the multicolor set, even though we've got some green in it, you know, green lockouts, green knuckles, but we've got blue C hubs and silver, well, uh, more like I think it's gun metal, yeah, uh, steering link. And of course, they said, put the mixed up multicolor one on there and I was like okay let's do it so that's what we're gonna put on there it in my opinion I think it's fitting considering what junkyard is I mean it's got a couple different color doors different color hood um, he's beat up it's just what he is so I think in all reality this is a good a good setup different colors it'll really it'll look cool especially considering he's got some different types of links underneath um, not your standard aluminum axial links or anything like that um, they are uh, actually red cat racing uh, aluminum links <laughs> so that's what I ended up putting underneath it because I wanted to come up with something to make it work but also give him that junkyard feel so that's what I did. And we have some MIP drive shafts here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get all these new upgrades installed on Junkyard. Um, you're probably wondering why. Because uh, this year I actually want to potentially get him into a couple class one comps potentially. So I figured why not beef them up a bit, uh, get them ready to handle some class one comps. I think I think overall this rig is set up. I mean, I I have the smallest uh, 1.9 Super Swampers on here, so they're not the XLs. They're just the standard 1.9s. Um, and you're probably noticing that I don't have the steel. Uh, RC four wheel drive uh, bead locks on there anymore. Um, I still have them. I have to wait. Um, I decided to pull them off right now because I was having separation issues with them. <sighs> separation issues, right? <laughs> Anyways, no, the beads were actually popping out. Um, it was one of those issues I was fighting for a while and it was driving me crazy. Every time I look at it, you just see them popping out over time just as it just sat there even up on stands where there was no pressure on them they would they were just popping out and I was going okay take them out for a little bit come back and another tire would be popping out some more and it was it was just bugging me so I pulled them off took them out um, and then went ahead and uh, looked online sure enough RC four-wheel drive actually offers a ring that goes inside 
um, for Proline tires now. Unfortunately, they're sold out. So you had to get on the waiting list to get them. So I'll probably look at getting a ring or some, unless I decide to go with some uh, RC four wheel drive tires to throw on there, which I've been thinking about anyways. So um, yeah, either way, something to look at. So I did also end up throwing in uh, an actual Super Swamper spare tire on there. So he is set up and he is fully ready to rock and roll. So I mean everything about him is good to go. But yeah, I it like I said, I do like those stamped uh, steel rims that I had on here. They were slick, way cool. But these will work for now. And at least, you know, and I do like this uh, satin chrome look on them. Pretty slick. So, and they are axial bead locks. So, anyways, enough of talking about it. Let's get these upgraded parts on him, right? Let's do it. Looks good, huh? Does that look cool? Yeah. There's the rear end, guys. Pretty cool. Okay, time for the front. As you can see, we got our new aluminum front end on there. <clears throat> and I've got myself a little helper with me right now. <laughs> How bad? Yeah. Yeah. Mommy had to take care of some errands, so I'm, I've got both the boys with me, and the little one woke up from his nap, didn't you? But you always like to watch the projects, huh? Don't you? So, the kids enjoy watching and spending time with me while I'm working on them, so kind of hard to work on this and hold them at the same time, so what I'm going to probably do is put him in his little bouncer for a little minute off camera here, and get back to that that way as I'm talking he enjoys listening don't you bud don't you you do yeah yeah you do little baby huh yeah yeah is that pretty cool yeah you like the truck like all the new parts are those pretty cool parts me too I like them do you like them too yeah yeah buddy likes them too huh okay well I'm gonna sit you in your I'm gonna sit you in your bouncer. How about that? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Yeah, people do good people. Now our whole front end is all all aluminum. Looks really nice. His it's cool. Floaty. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It has that has that I real junkyard that. look. You know, I love you've got that. your green lockouts in the rear you've got your green blue and uh, silver up front I wanted blue on it and green on it did you? Yeah. I like that a lot I'm glad you guys chose that you're welcome good, good choice yeah <laughs> good job yeah. looks good got our nice new MIP drive shafts on so in great shape there looks good so the next thing is because now we've added all this extra weight where before I had a lot of stock stuff on this wasn't an issue still a really good servo but down the road um, I need to upgrade this and I do have a more powerful servo to throw on there which we will end up doing and it's gonna need it as simple as that because it's a lot of weight it's a lot more weight to throw around with all that extra aluminum I know it doesn't seem like much and some people would feel like that might be enough uh, power to do but I'll be honest I've been running several rigs with a lot of aluminum and I'll tell you it's not enough power so anyways that is the junk junkyard for you basically and He's got some nice upgrades now. Just about ready for some fun competitions now. So I'm kind of excited. So that's that.
But thanks again for watching with Codes Empire and make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to keep up with this upgrade and many more of our adventures coming soon. So we'll see you guys later. Thanks again.